Okay guys, today on Chris Does What? I'm going to be looking at this uh, YJ 1994 model. The slave cylinder on it is problematic. What's happening is this little uh, push rod thing right here is pushing out and it won't go back in. So we're going to pull this all apart. And this is a pre-bled uh, system I bought off Amazon. I looked at the same system on at AutoZone and O'Reilly's and they wanted $70 more. This was $100 on Amazon. So see link below if you want this part. And let's go ahead and stick it on. And I'll show you all the steps I go through. Okay guys, so before we install this, let's go over the tools. You're going to need a wrench, well a wrench or a uh, socket wrench with a half inch uh, deep well. This I'm going to use this uh, shallow socket on the top because there's no long stud to go over, but when I'm working with the clutch slave cylinder, it's you got a long stud, so you'll need a deep well socket. And then you need a pair of needle nose to pull the little pin off the clutch pedal inside the Jeep. So now let's go ahead and take it off. We'll start with looking on the inside of the car or the Jeep. Right here is this little pin. That has to be pulled off and um, then it just comes out and you can take the uh, the, disconnect the clutch pedal from the master clutch cylinder. As we come back out, you have the clutch master cylinder, which has two bolts in it. One I started loosening right here. This is, uh, I could only get to this with a wrench. So, and it's very short throw. I can only get like a quarter turn out of it each time. And then this one down here which I can go ahead and put a socket on. Then you come on up under the Jeep. When you're looking under the Jeep, here is the clutch slave cylinder. So you'll see that long stud I was talking about. That's why you need the deep socket. And there's only four bolts and that pin, and this all comes out. So let's go ahead and take it out. Okay, so as I said, I've loosened this one up and to already, uh, so I can just take it off with my fingers because that's easier. And for the time, I didn't want to be undoing it this entire video. We've already taken the uh, pen off the one on the inside. And now we just have to pull the master cylinder off. and bind the socket after you drop it. So the master cylinder is off. It should come out fairly difficultly. And this is why they replace both at once because they're both worn. And it comes with a new seal on it, so I'll go ahead and take all this gobbledygook off. And there we go. Now we can see the inside of the Jeep. Very cool. Okay, so got to remove this. And it looks like we have some, some minor leakage down here, a little bit. Okay, and so I had to go on the highway and fix this on the road, and to fix this on the road you have to take, an, um, take this off and get that, uh, there's a 
plunger in there that you have to get back in so you can shift again. When this uh, fails, it fails in the, uh, the clutch engage position. Ooh, the whole stud's coming out. And uh, it's kind of problematic for going because the clutch will not engage, the, allow the uh, transmission to engage. Okay, so when this thing fails, this plunger comes all the way out and turns to the side, and it won't go back in. So this one is really loose. Yeah. Well, you saw that, but this, it comes out like that, and it just sticks like that, and gets hung, and it won't disengage the clutch. Okay, so this is our... Uh Clutch slave cylinder, master cylinder, pre bled assembly from Amazon. And this is the one I just pulled off the, the Jeep. This one's actually metal from Amazon. This one here that was on the Jeep is plastic. It looks a uh, heavier construction. I hope everything fits okay, but it looks well made. I'm not going to take and pull these pins this off until I'm ready to stick this in because you don't want this to come out like this one this one's gone so let's go ahead and stick it on okay so I've got the new one pinned in place and uh, these uh, nuts aren't tight and then I have ran this down here and if you see Right there where the, uh, this white is, right here, there's a, there's a pin you have to take off right here where this white is and, and push it back in on the new, on the new one because you don't want this hose free flopping around because it's just plastic. So everything's in place, ready to be bolted back in and we'll go ahead and see if it works and uh, if so this this is a very reasonable piece off Amazon see link down below okay while my son's trying to figure out how to get the pin back into the clutch uh, pedal so small. we got this side all in these are tightened down and uh, I like that it's bigger and it came with this uh, of course seal right here so you know that was always good and then down there at the bottom it's uh the slave cylinder is all tightened up in there and uh, let's see right there so that's all tightened up and the the plumbing has been ran exactly where it was ran before so really simple job takes about 30 minutes and about uh, what do you say about 30 minutes to put the pin in Brian yeah, just about. Okay, so we'll get this pin in and then we'll show you it working. Okay guys, so we're in the Jeep, got it running, the clutch is working, so here we go. Yay! So my son says the clutch feels uh, a lot shorter. shorter and firmer and it's also not squeaking which is a good thing because it was really squeaking bad so that's it okay guys so we got the clutch pedal installed my son Brandon he says uh, feels more heavy-duty it's a lot hard to push but it does work and uh, it's not making the squeaky noise it was making before you know, it just all kinds of squeakiness going on. So, if you want the same clutch and you don't want to pay 170 from AutoZone or O'Reilly's, uh, Amazon, see link below. It's, uh, we're gonna go, uh, it seems to work really well and uh, really easy to install. Four bolts, 30 minutes to uh, install the uh, slave and master cylinder, and then 30 minutes to put in the pan for him. No. I'm just kidding.
If you like this video, hit that like button. It looks like this. It's down there somewhere. If you like this channel, subscribe. And uh, y'all please take care.